Hi everyone, I am Saumia, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Microbiology at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangood. Today I talk about lab diagnosis of parasitic specimen. The collection of the specimen. The sample collected the wild mouth clean container without contamination of the urine, water or disinfectant. The sample collected of the three fecal specimen taken the diagnosis of intestinal parasitic disease. The two specimen obtained, obtained the successive day during the normal bowel movement. The third is after magnesium pures. The liquid specimen should be examined within 30 minutes. Semi-formed stool within 16 minutes after collection for the suspected infection like Endobiba crystallitica and Giardia lamida. The blood sample, the finger pricking, lay, lay loop on ear or anticoagulant blood can be used. Next one we see about preservatives of specimen. There are the preservatives are used in laboratory parasitic infection. For, first one is formalin solution. Second one is polyvinyl algogon. Third one is methylated iodine formalin solution. First one is macroscopic examination of the fecal sample. There are the example for the examination. First one is consistency, second one is color, third one is odor, fourth one is presence of the blood or mucus. If the presence of the blood and mucus in the stool, suggestive for the amoebiosis amoebiocis dysentery. Second one is microscopic examination. These are the example test for the microscopic examination. First one is saline wet mount. Second one is iodine wet mount. Third one is simmer after concentration. Fourth one is stained simmer. The saline wet mount. The small quantity of the fecus is diluted with normal saline placed on the glass slide and covered with cover slip. The smear is examined under the microscope. It is used to detect the trophocytes and cyst of the trophodes and egg the larva helminthus. It, it detects the live motility of the Endobiba histolytica and Giardia lambida. Next one is iodine wet mount. The small amount of stool is emulsified into the drop of the few five time diluted solution of the Lugol's iodine on gla clean glass slide. It is covered with a cover slip and examined under the microscope. It is used to identify the nuclear character of the cyst and trophocytes. The Lugol's iodine composition 10 gram of potassium iodine, potassium iodine, second one is 100 ml of distal water, third one is 5 gram of iodine crystal. The most important method for concentration method, the flotation technique, the flotation technique again classified for the uh, coming methods. First one is saturated salt flotation technique. Second one is zinc sulfide centrifugal flotation technique. Third one is sedimentation technique. For fifth one is simple sedimentation. The last one is formalin ether sedimentation. For example, simple sedimentation technique. The sufficient amount of the fecus is thoroughly mixed with 10 to 20 times with volume of the tap water. Allow the settle in the cone shaped flask for an hour or two hours. This process is repeatedly till supernanite fluid is clear. Once clear the supernanite, take the sedimentation at the bottom, examine under the microscopic view. The examine for the eggs. Next one is examination for blood parasite. The examination for thick blood smear. The thick smear preparation. The brick the finger or ear loop with surgical cutting needle under the aseptic condition. The take a drop of the blood. The large, not large. 
larger than pin of the head on the clean glass slide the make smear with the help of the splinter the dry the smear and labeled with the smear the staining the most important staining for parasitic observation lisman stain the lisman stain pour into the stain on the smear allowed to 2 minutes the smear is diluted with stain with twice it is the volume of distal water which should be neutralized the allowed the diluted stain is remain on the slide after 10 to 15 minutes the washing the slide under the running tap water and tried the smear the stain the stained smear is absorbed the under oil immersion microscope thank you